did my internship at the Walt Disney World Resort. I was a cast member. I was in a merchandise role. And um, through doing my internship, I did an organizational analysis of them uh, for my um, an overview of Walt Disney World, as most of you guys know, is located in Orlando, Florida. It opened on October 1st, 1971, following the success of the Disneyland Resort in California, which opened in 1955. Um, the idea behind Disneyland and Disney World is that Walt wanted to have a safe and clean place for families to have fun together. Uh, the, currently, the Disney company um, is split up into five market segments. The Media Networks, Parks and Resorts, Studio Entertainment, Consumer Products, and Interactive, they hold 51% of the Parks and Resorts market share. Their competitors are Universal, SeaWorld, Six Flags, and Busch Gardens. A little bit about Walt Disney World today, they exist on about 40 square miles, which is about the size of San Francisco. They have four parks and a shopping area called Disney Springs, two water parks, and 25 Disney-operated hotels and transportation system. Also on property is some um, um, just more hotels and some more like recreational activities to be done. Um, there are 70,000 cast members that make the whole show run all across Disney World in all different kinds of roles. And they're currently doing a lot of expansion. Um, they recently changed what was the downtown Disney into Disney Springs by adding over 100 restaurants and retail areas to the location and adding a background story so it has more of a story to it. Um, they are expanding Hollywood Studios. If you know anything about Hollywood Studios, about half of it is closed right now because they're adding Star Wars Land and Toy Story Land. And they are also adding to Animal Kingdom in order to make it um, a more of an all-day experience by adding Avatar Land and a nighttime show. Um, their mission statement for the Walt Disney World Resort, this is specifically for the resort in Orlando. We create happiness by providing the finest in entertainment for people of all ages everywhere. And their core values, which cast members call the four keys basics, are safety, courtesy, show, and efficiency. And I'll talk about them a little bit later. Um, my methods for finding out more uh, information for my paper was that I was in the Disney College program in the Spring Advantage program in 2015. Basically, that just means I was there for six months as opposed to the regular three-month program. I was a merchandise hostess at Disney Springs in Zone 3, specifically at Disney's, Disney's Days of Christmas. Um, I also did interviews with Ken Phillips, who was the director of Walt Disney World Internships and Programs, and Elaine Farnworth, who was one of my managers in Zone 3 in downtown Disney. I also looked at online sources and a website analysis of the Disney company. And I also used a few of the few of the things I got as I was a cast member there, which was the Traditions Handbook and the Disney Book. Um, the organizational structure, as you can see at the top, is Bob Iger, who's the current CEO of the Disney company as a whole. And there is actually a president of Walt Disney World currently. It's George Calagridis. Um, from there, there would be a vice president of each park. So just for the sake of kind of saving space, there's a vice president of Magic Kingdom, vice president of Disney Springs, vice president of Epcot, each park. From there, there are zone managers for each role. Uh, I had five zone managers that kind of looked over all five stores that were in my zone. Um, and then from there, there was retail managers which worked kind of closely with the coordinators who oversaw all of the cast members. And in that picture is, um, they kind of set up events for us to get to know our leaders because there's a very low power distance in Disney. So basically, if Bob Iger was going to walk through your front door, you're expected to call him Bob. Um, everyone is equal in um, making the show happen. <coughs> so they did a lot of teamwork events where they, that was a barbecue on um, the 4th of July, they made us hot dogs in downtown Disney. And um, it was all just a really close-knit family we're all equal to putting on this show. For organizational diversity, um, obviously people from all over the globe go to Disney World and they also work. Um, I, I had managers from England, Morocco, and India, and they were some of the greatest managers I've ever had. Obviously, in keeping with the government, they're an equal opportunity in employment. Um, for cast members overall in the Disney company, not just in Walt Disney World, 52% um, are female, and they make up 43% of management, um, and 40% of cast members are in minority minorities, and 21% are in management. For organizational culture, it's kind of hard to just briefly explain Disney culture. 
Um, but what they tell us on a daily basis is, was that Walt was a storyteller and that all of Walt Disney World is a story and we're all part of it. Um, as I said before, the Four Keys Basics is what makes up Disney World and it's what, what makes the show happen. Um, the first one, which is the most important, is uh, safety and our uh, kind of our catchphrase for safety is safety begins with me. And that's um, really important to just keeping um, everything in the show and making sure everything's safe. The second one is courtesy, which if you have heard anything about Disney World, you probably heard the Disney point, which is the two finger or an open palm. And that is just keeping with cultural awareness. Um, in, mul in multiple countries, um, it's considered rude to point with one finger. And so since we have a lot of guests coming from all over the world, you wanted to not offend anyone, so we just use the Disney point. For show, we have the Disney look, and when you're hired at Disney World, you actually are given the Disney look book, and it tells you everything about what you can and cannot wear as being part of Disney. And um, their definition of the Disney look is a classic look that is clean, natural, polished, and professional and avoids cutting edge trends or extreme styles. So we have a lot of rules on what colored nail polish we could wear, what washes we could wear, what we could have in our hair just different things so that we looked clean and not standing out more than any other um, cast members. The last one is efficiency, and that's just making the show run, making sure the show runs as smoothly as possible and as easy for our guests. Um, just to conclude, in working for the company, it's certainly a once in a thousand <coughs> experience. I can be like, hey, I worked in Disney World, and people think that's pretty cool. Um, for me personally, it wasn't the easy experience that I ever um, had to go through. Um, I was in. I was there for six months, and for four months of it, I was in deployment, which a lot of the people think it sounds a lot more harsh than it actually is. Basically, it just means that I was sent to a different store every week for four months straight, so that kind of gave me more um, experience in being adaptable, learning new situations, um, learning a new area, new managers, new cast members. Um, but obviously there are a lot of benefits to living in Disney World. I mean, you get to go to Disney whenever you want. Um, on a day off, you just go over and have some fun. Um, also, you get to be a part of the magic, so you get to know what goes into making the show happen. Um, you get to know like the behind the scenes of how everything works. And um, I got experience working for a world-renowned organization, which is um, kind of interesting in moving on to a professional career. Thank you.